What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. And today's video is gonna be straight to the point. I have to put this water block by EK on this Zotec Gaming 3090. It's a Trinity OC edition. Now, the bit of history behind this is John Redinger and I are going to be building a really interesting PC. So uh, John, what are we doing here? We're, uh, we're building some things. This guy as our highlight. This desk is gonna be a computer. Who's, who's building this? I mean, I'm going to be watching, <laughs> um, but uh, mostly Terrence. <laughs> oh, good Lord. And obviously we needed a 3090, obviously. Now, we all know that in this environment, getting a GPU is close to impossible. And I refuse to pay scalpers a dime. So we actually, I, I've been reaching out to like all of my partners and EK actually said like, hey, we can send you a Zotec 3090 and mind blown. So thank you very much EK for all the support and EK also supplied the EK Quantum Vector, you know, the front water block for this as well as the nickel plated back plate. And they're actually rushing to manufacture and ship us from Slovenia uh, the active back plate for this as well. So I might have enough time with filming to actually do an addition to this video to add the active back plate for this. I'm really interested in the active back plate for this because it's a 3090. We all know that 3090s, because of the RAM on the backside, it runs very, very hot. You know, some of these 3090s are running like 105 degrees Celsius on the backside. And if you saw my previous video of putting an active backplate on a reference design 3090, it dropped temperatures on that RAM by like 48 degrees Celsius. So I'm really interested on a card like this, how much it would actually drop those temperatures as well. So with this build, I wanted to make sure that it's going to last a very long time, high performing build, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm basically the water cooling expert that John has brought in for this project. So let's get started. I'm talking too much as usual, and uh, I hope you enjoy the process. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions and let's get to it.
And that's pretty much it, everybody. This is a very straightforward process. I can give you a couple of pro tips, I guess. Read the manual cover to cover for everything that's on EK's website on the application of GPU water blocks, active backplates, the, you know, the nickel plated backplate. It will save you a lot of time and headache. And just don't assume you know what's going on because if you have a 3080 versus a 3090, for example, um, yeah, all of these thermal pads, there's different sizes and they go on different places depending on the type of GPU you have. So just be mindful of that. Additionally, um, this is the Zotec Trinity OC, like I said, a 3090. It's a different PCB than say a Founders Edition or a Reference Edition or all kinds of other cards. So you actually have to go to EK's website, use the compatibility tool and just do a drop down. Okay, so this is NVIDIA, this is a 3090, this is by Zotec, this is the Trinity OC Edition, and then it'll say, oh, these are all of the GPU water blocks, active back, back plates and all that stuff that's compatible with this specific GPU, all right? So don't think they're all interchangeable because they're not. Another pro tip I can say is for all your air cooling hardware, make sure you save all of that, label everything for like where some of the screws went, like the, the front screws here for the bracket and all that stuff. It will save you a lot of time and headache couple of years down the road when you want to replace your GPU or maybe sell it or whatever you want to do. It will just be a lifesaver for you. Trust me. And other than that, all I can say is big, huge shout out to EK for finding a 3090 for John Redinger and I for this project that we're working on, uh, as well as supplying all of the water cooling gear for applying the GPU water block on this stuff. Uh, so thank you again, EK. And uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up on social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. at John and Redinger's place, get my saw on for some tubing. I spent a long day uh, sawing pipe. It's tough. I've been showing Terrence how to actually... Wait, wait, we already have the footage of me sawing. <laughs> you filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> this is about his most work as I've done. I we can see it. So uh, those guns aren't going to work themselves. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. You guys are really bad at mine. Uh, we, this has been an amazing project to see. As somebody who's learning sort of the PC building side, to see a, a master at work has been exquisite, like a magician working, seeing Terrence do his thing. Uh, uh, this is just fun, you know, and especially for a good cause. And yeah. Stuff. Uh, wait, what do you hear about all that stuff? But yeah. We're going to see this guy come to life tomorrow, probably. Yes, yes, uh, as long as your dog allows us to do it. She might. She's, she's very distracted, very cute. <laughs> And no, don't eat that. They will don't make it look delicious. Thermal paste. <laughs> From the thermal paste tower. Listen, I did what you said. I think it was bad instruction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm in the secret storage of cell phones by John Redinger. Totes and totes and totes of cell phones. And I'm taking a Star Wars Note 10 plus 5G. That did kind of ruin the a little bit.